China's J-20 Mighty Dragon may be closer than ever to having something that resembles a real cloaking device. New scientific research reveals a metasurface coating, only 0.1 millimeters thin, that can absorb radar waves even at temperatures reaching 1,000 degrees Celsius. This has sparked global attention and raised big questions. In this video, we explore what this so-called cloaking effect actually means and why it could redefine the future of advanced aerospace materials. The idea that the J-20 Mighty Dragon could be gaining something close to a cloaking device didn't come from speculation. It began with a published scientific breakthrough from Chinese researchers working across multiple leading universities. Their work describes a new ultra-thin metasurface coating capable of sharply reducing radar reflections even under extreme temperatures and high-speed airflow. This led many analysts to compare the material's behavior to a form of electromagnetic cloaking, not invisibility, but a significant suppression of detectable signals. To uncover why this comparison emerged, we need to break down what the scientists built. Their work started with silica fiber fabric, a material already known for exceptional thermal resistance. What makes this fabric special is its ability to hold steady at temperatures far beyond what conventional aircraft coatings can tolerate. Using chemical vapor deposition, the team infused graphene into the silica fibers, creating a fused structure known as a graphene silica membrane. The thickness? Just 0.1 millimeters, about the width of two sheets of paper. As impressive as this structure was, the membrane initially lacked strong electromagnetic interaction. It didn't meaningfully absorb radar waves. This changed when researchers added a second innovative step, subtractive laser patterning. By etching tiny geometric shapes into the graphene layer, they created a metasurface, an engineered structure that manipulates how electromagnetic waves behave. Instead of bouncing radar signals back toward transmitters, this pattern surface absorbs and disrupts them. This is where the cloaking analogy begins to make sense. A coating that absorbs signals across multiple frequency ranges, even under intense thermal conditions, resembles the first steps toward electromagnetic concealment. The material's test results were remarkable. Heated to 600 degrees Celsius in open air, the metasurface maintained its absorption performance. When heated to 1000 degrees Celsius in a vacuum, conditions similar to high-speed flight, it remained stable. Under airflow of 200 meters per second, the material lost less than 1% of its radar absorption. This indicates that the coating doesn't crack, peel, or degrade under typical aerodynamic stress. Modern radar-absorbing coatings fall into two main categories, paint-like layers and polymer-based films. These materials can absorb radar waves, but they also have well-known drawbacks. They degrade under heat, they require frequent maintenance, and they often need multi-layer applications that add weight and thickness to the aircraft. Many coatings also struggle with humidity, corrosion, and sunlight exposure, all of which gradually reduce effectiveness. This new metasurface is fundamentally different. Its ultra-thin structure, just one-tenth of a millimeter, means it adds almost no weight and produces minimal aerodynamic interference. For advanced aircraft, every gram matters, and every surface irregularity can influence airflow. The metasurface avoids many of these issues simply because of how little physical space it occupies. Temperature resilience is one of the most striking differences. Because it is composed of silica fibers and graphene, the material doesn't soften, warp, or lose electromagnetic stability at temperatures that would damage conventional coatings. Graphene naturally withstands extreme heat while maintaining structural and electrical integrity. Silica fibers prevent heat from transferring into the material beneath, preserving the stability of the larger structure. The laser pattern geometry offers another unique advantage. Traditional coatings cannot easily be customized for different radar frequency bands without changing their chemical composition or thickness. The metasurface, however, can be tuned simply by altering the geometric layout of the etched shapes. Engineers can change frequency performance by adjusting patterns rather than reformulating ingredients. Another important distinction is durability. The graphene silica membrane is flexible, 
meaning it can be applied to curved surfaces without cracking. Many traditional coatings struggle with surface bending or sudden temperature changes, often leading to peeling or microfractures. This metasurface also resists moisture, dust accumulation, and ultraviolet exposure better than polymer-based coatings. Maintenance efficiency is another major benefit. Because the coating is durable and bonded directly into the fabric structure, it is less likely to require touch-ups or repairs caused by environmental wear. This could significantly reduce downtime for aircraft, improving readiness and lowering maintenance-related expenses. If scaled successfully, this metasurface could influence nearly every part of modern aerospace engineering. For high-performance aircraft like the J-20, its ability to maintain electromagnetic stability while enduring extreme heat would enable longer high-speed travel without compromising material performance. During high-velocity flight, friction builds heat along leading edges, wings, and nose sections. A material that remains functional at near-incandescent temperatures offers clear advantages for sustained performance. The technology's implications extend into the field of hypersonic vehicles, which experience far greater thermal loads. Most materials struggle at the temperatures generated during hypersonic travel, forcing designers to rely on thick insulation layers or specialized heat shields. A thin, lightweight metasurface that remains stable at 1,000 degrees Celsius could support new design philosophies, enabling vehicles that are lighter, more aerodynamic, and more energy efficient. Its vacuum stability opens the door to space-based applications as well. Satellites must withstand solar radiation, particle exposure, and dramatic temperature swings. A graphene silica composite that maintains electromagnetic responsiveness in vacuum environments could improve shielding, protect sensitive components, or stabilize onboard communication systems. High-altitude drones and near-space aircraft could also benefit from these characteristics. Manufacturing advantages also play an important role. A flexible, paper-thin coating is easier to integrate onto curved body shapes or lightweight airframes. Because the metasurface doesn't require multiple chemical layers, production cycles could be shorter and repair methods could become simpler. Materials with built-in durability help reduce maintenance downtime and increase operational availability. However, scaling the technology remains one of the biggest challenges. Producing uniform graphene sheets large enough to coat an aircraft requires advanced facilities. Laser patterning curved surfaces, such as engine inlets or complex wing geometries, demands precision machinery capable of maintaining accuracy at high speeds. Environmental durability in real-world conditions, rain, dust, UV radiation, mechanical vibration, must also be studied. Despite these challenges, the potential influence of this metasurface is significant. If real-world tests validate laboratory results, this coating could become a foundational material for future aircraft, spacecraft, and hypersonic platforms. Its mix of thinness, heat tolerance, flexibility, and electromagnetic adaptability represents a major step toward more efficient, resilient aerospace systems. It may not be a literal science fiction cloaking shield, but it could mark the beginning of a new generation of advanced signature management solutions. This metasurface represents a major leap in advanced aerospace materials. Its heat resistance, electromagnetic stability, and ultra-thin structure make it a strong candidate for future high-performance platforms. While much remains to be tested outside the lab, the possibilities it introduces are remarkable. If validated at scale, it may significantly shape the next era of aviation and space technology. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.